Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 30. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we're going to be taking part in another endurance race now. Uh, we're going to be taking part in the Class C Grand Prix of Laguna Seca. If you couldn't tell, we're going to be going to Laguna Seca. It's kind of in the title. Uh, we're going to be taking the Ford Focus ST. I've upgraded this um, to C545. We've put some weight reduction. Uh, and what we've done, we've actually powertrain swapped it. So we swapped it with a rear wheel drive with a different engine. Uh, and then also added a turbocharger to that engine. So hopefully... We should be a little more in control of this car. Because obviously front wheel drive, steering wheels, doesn't always go well. Because the front wheels are just going to wear out like crazy. So hopefully this will even out the wear a little bit. But let's get going. Alright, so I've decided to uh, change out the tyres. The tyres? I saw tyres on my phone. And I don't know why I said tyres. I've changed out the entire fucking car. Um, we're taking a Subaru. Is that a Subaru? Hopefully this thing has a little more pull. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Much better car. <laughs> uh, unpopular opinion. But uh, Subaru and e Mitsubishi Evos. The Subaru WRX and the Mitsubishi Evo. They're exactly the same fucking car. Why the hell are we... <laughs> Why the hell are we so focused on it? They're the same damn car, pretty much. Like... They're both just as good as each other. Uh, no, I'm not recording at 8K and 120 FPS. I'm recording at um, 1080p. 60 frames a second. Um, we're at 50,000 kilobits a second. So while my stream is being rendered at... 6,000. The actual gameplay is being recorded at 50,000. Um, I am planning at some point. I am going to be upgrading to 4K footage. Um, I think by the time we get to Motorsport... I think it's Horizon 3. Forza Horizon 3, which is game number 9 in the series... Um, so it's going to be a while anyways. When it comes to that game, I'm going to have to get a second PC. Uh, and we're going to be running that f at 4K, 60fps. And that's going to be sent through a brand new capture card that I've got planned. Um, and I'm going to be recording at 200 kilobits a second, 4K, 60fps. So I'm going to be looking at an hour of footage is going to take up nearly 90 gigabytes. Easily. But guess what? I don't give a shit. Because <laughs> if it looks good, I don't care. It doesn't mean I won't be able to record onto a hard drive, though, I don't think. Because... Actually, no. 200 kilobits a second. 120 megabytes a second is... About 1,000 kilobits. Uh... A million kilobits a second. So yeah. 200,000 should still be plenty to save on a hard drive. Ugh. So yeah. That's going to be fun. But I don't care. Because. Oh well. <laughs> Not bad. Through the corkscrew there. I can imagine though, if I was recording at 8K 120fps, it would be... Well. For the quality level that I want the footage to be recorded at. Um, well, going from 4K to 8K is doubled. Uh, it's times by 4. 
So that would be 800 kilobits a second. Uh, 800,000 kilobits a second to be able to record at that. Just at 60 frames. 8K 60 frames. And then to record it at 120 frames would then be an extra double on top of that. So that would be 1.6 million kilobits a second. Holy shit. If I was recording 8K 120fps at the quality that I record my stuff now, it would be 1.6 million kilobits a second. Or 1,600 megabits a second. Hey, not bad. Yeah, I invested in a um, M.2 terabyte drive for basically um, the first four videos I edited. No. The first eight videos. Because I did four and then another four. The first eight videos I edited on... Um, the Forza Motorsport 1 series, I actually edited on a hard drive. Straight off of the hard drive that I've got it on now. And I honestly, DaVinci was running so slow because of how much higher quality the video was. And because my hard drive couldn't load it quick enough. So I was like, right, I'm splashing out. I didn't even splash out. I got the cheapest M.2 I could find that was a terabyte. And it cost me 60 quid, and it's got 2,400 megabytes a second read speed. So, it's very quick still. Um, tested it out on Fallout 4, and it basically cut my um, loading time into five. So, on a hard drive, it loaded five times longer. It took five times as long to load Fallout 4 on a hard drive than it did on my SSD. It was crazy to play Fallout 4 with. Um, is that a dead... Oh my god, I got a dead pixel on my monitor. Fuck. That's not good. I don't like that. Okay, no it's not. It's just a mark on my screen. <laughs> I genuinely thought I had a dead pixel. I was bricking it. See, I'm someone that would have noticed that straight up and been like, oh my god. I think it was just a bit of water and it was splitting all the light and it looked like it was dead. Because I could only see the green light out of it. <laughs> that, uh, that was not ideal though. Genuinely had a heart in my mouth moment. Especially when I tried to rub it off and it didn't come off straight away. Mmm. Wow. Arizona iced tea. It's fucking beautiful. Bing, bing. <laughs> Don't scare yourself like that. I wasn't the one that scared myself. My monitor did. <laughs> but yeah. Once I got that SSD though, my video editing was like... It's been smooth sailing since. The only thing is, if I did, you know, upgrade to 4K footage, I would have to get them very fast. Yeah, the M.2s are supposed to be faster. That's what I was saying. It was took five times longer on a hard drive to load than the SSD. Like, my SSD would end up loading Fallout 4 in about 10 seconds with the mods. Maybe 12 seconds. My hard drive took a minute. Like, it was so much longer on the hard drive. It was unreal. So it was lovely to actually sit down and play Fallout 4 on an SSD. Because the thing is, with the way that... Yeah. The way that console games have been programmed on PlayStation especially. 
Playing a PS4 game on an SSD doesn't really have that much of a performance gain because they're programmed in such a way that they load differently. So when you play a... Like, when I was playing Gran Turismo Sport, I compared a loading time of a Gran Turismo Sport event to on a PS4. It wasn't too much faster. It wasn't substantial. It probably saved me about 15 seconds. So it was about 45 seconds to load instead of a minute. Even though the PS5 has the fastest SSD out of the both consoles. Microsoft, I can't say because I don't know. I haven't got experience with it. But, again, it's just a really weird way those older games aren't built for SSDs. But when it comes to PC gaming, because PCs just load content, there's no fancy trickery that's done behind the scenes for optimization and stuff like that. It's just told, load it, load it, load it, load it. Faster it can do that, the faster it you get into the game. It is more straightforward on PC. So you put in an SSD, every game will benefit from that. Though I am definitely looking at that 8 terabyte SATA SSD because I'm planning on swapping out. I might swap out. Um, what's it called? Move all my games to that. Have my 8 terabyte hard drive just for video recording. <laughs> so I would end up with 16 terabytes, but who cares? <laughs> Be fucking funny. Not bad. Is this farewell? That was really nice and really smooth down that corkscrew there. And so far, the temperatures of the entire tyres aren't too bad. They're looking solid. What are you afraid of? Skyline. Probably going to be streaming until 11 tonight. Just because of the fact that I've got a lot of content to catch up on. This for real. Ah, no, yes, cool. This for real skyline. Not bad, right? We have done eight laps. 
So we are definitely past the quarter way mark. Maybe not halfway, but... The quarter way mark, we are past. Ah! Get back on track. What are you afraid of? Ooh, ooh. Run away now. Not too bad. Coming around the uh, final hairpin. Is that class as a hairpin? Is it tight enough to be one? We're at a 25 second lead. Jesus fucking Christ. Mental. Uh, apparently, there's a new... Humble Bundle announcements. Ugh. They still haven't brought out a new bundle yet. Come on, Humble Bundle. You lazy buggers. Mm -hmm. Taking my refuge. Mm hmm. Need to take shelter. Not bad. Right, we're officially a third of the way into the race. Got another two thirds to go. Some nice distance. We're going to be getting in this race. Now I know what to do. So how's everyone doing in chat today? Hopefully everyone's having a marvelous day. I don't know why, I've got the window open, but there's no breeze. There's no air circulation, so it's just constantly just warming up. The temperature is rising. But luckily, I got my Arizona iced tea. Haha. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever recommend anyone to drink an entire can in one go like I'm about to. Because you can definitely taste the sugar in it. <laughs> There's a lot of it. I took my refuge in you.
37 C there. Jesus Christ. I couldn't imagine being in America and having it that hot. Like, I'd die. I would die. But then again, we had a heat wave in the UK the other day. It got to 34, I think it was, 34 C. Um, and it was, it was nice. It was very hot though. And so you couldn't really do anything other than lay outside. Because it was just too hot to do anything else. I couldn't stream. Like, streaming was unbearable for me. No worries, Kate. No worries. Thank you very much. No. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're looking at lap number 12, and I think now should be the time that we double check. Uh, get on the brakes. Here we go. So our tire temperatures are... The front ones, obviously, are driving and steering. So they're going to be suffering a little more. Because they've got majority of the power, and then they've also got turning as well. A lot of cars that turn... But have the rear driving. Typically will have. Um, more towards the rear. Anything that's just front wheel drive. The rear tires basically won't heat up at all. They'll be cold. The front ones will always be overheating. Um, but our wear is 42% on the front. So... Maybe soon we might be thinking about taking a pit slot, but. Ba -da -ba -do. Not bad. The Rahal straight. Coming up to the corkscrew. Where everyone gets screwed. But let's forget the rain. I don't think anyone's actually taken a pit stop yet. I think at the end of lap 16. Maybe lap 17, I might take a pit stop. I don't think it actually matters. To be honest, when I take the pit stop. Not bad. So once I finish this for today, finish my driving, finish my editing, I'm watching the rest of the rallying, specifically Rally Kenya. I'm going to be finishing off stage 16, 17, 18 and 19, so basically the end of the rally. And then that'll be me done with the rallying until the next rally. I'm very excited to watch. The next one, because that will be my first rally that I will watch live. Uh, it will still be on TV. It won't be, like, live in person. Fuck no, am I going to Estonia to watch a rally? It's too far away. Actually, I don't think there's a UK rally this year. Now that I think about it. I don't think there's a rally in the UK, which sucks. Let 
they want. Not bad. Can we get the pass? We've caught up to the back markers, so... This is a step in the right direction. Oh! It's a very risky and dangerous move from our part, but we pulled it off. the hell is that trying to overtake us? Do, 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 do. Not bad. Oh god. <laughs> I was supposed to have lapped. Uh pitted. I forgot. Yeah, that front uh front right is starting to wear out, so this lap will come in for the pits. Is that a Mercedes? Is that a Subaru? Is that a car? Ah! I'm definitely in one of those moods today. And in we go to the pits. Not bad. It's looking good. Fresh tires on. Is it going to take us all the way around the track like it should do? That's where the pit lane should come out. So I'm doing it the proper way. Not the cheaty way that Forza does it. Not bad.
Not bad. It's such a short straight. Because it's technically not straight. It's like two straights in one. So I don't even have much time to actually like have a drink during this event. <laughs> Once we've done this, this is the last of the level 20 events. We then get to move on to level 25. That's a Camaro. Oh my god, that's awesome. They definitely have not pitted though. Because there is no way it's taking... If it's taken me three laps to catch up... They would have already been behind if they had pitted. So they still haven't pitted. So I've pit and caught back up with the back markers in about three laps. Two and a half. I mean, he should be waved a blue flag at this point. Come on, blue flag! Let me through, thank you. <laughs> Neighbor stopped in watching, just talking. Fair enough, no worries. <laughs> It's always good to have like a nice neighbor that checks in on you every once in a while. It's always a good thing in life. That's sort of the vibe that I want when I move out. To be able to live in a place that's comfy. Have an awesome setup, obviously. And also, you know, have some nice neighbors. Because nice neighbors are awesome. Move out of the way, Mazda. Whoop. Okay. Mazda completely threw off my line. What are you doing? Oh, if I check this and there's any form of damage, you are one lucky Mazda. I'm trying to go for a clean race here. Thank you. Get in the pits. Go away. Bum 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 Bad. Oh, yeah, I've lost feeling in my leg. Oh, ow. Yeah, no, I really don't like that. I do like how the um, cameras in this game, they do move with the car a little more. Like, they're not stuck on the car, but they actually, like, flow. It's not just, like, a single position. As you go down that corkscrew, the camera follows the car with it more. 
I know Gran Turismo games just lock to the back of the car, so it's always really uncomfortable to use. Need for Speed games are similar, but they go really swayed to the side. Dramatically, whenever you're driving. Forza is one of the few where you can do chase cam, and it feels alright. Bad. Catching up with the second pack. Cars number four and five. Cars number two and three are somewhere there. Oh, well, one of those cars has pitted. Or just come out of the pits, should I say. How has that at least lost so much time? That's actually what I want to know. Yeah, just imagine trying to clean 100 degrees Celsius rubber off the side of the car. Like, this rubber has gone soft, flung off of these tires, stuck to the side of the car and cooled down. That must be a pain in the ass to try and get off. There we go. 23 of 30. Mike moving. I don't know. Whoa! Get back on track. I love that the camera is completely locked when you use the look back button. I think they changed that for the uh, Motorsport 3, sorry.
Not too bad. Unluck. I don't even think I've got an unluck command. I should get one. Should say something like, Welcome back. Hope your tea and crumpets were nice. Something like that. Not bad. A bit slidey there. Still looking pretty good. Those rear tires are quite on the cooler side, to be honest. Cooler than where it, where I would like it to be. Mm. Smooth as butter. Break the cycle. Break my bicycle. Can't believe how much time I've spent in these races. But by the looks of it, there does seem to be a pattern that these races don't get longer. So, I'm hoping that that last race, it will still be a substat... It will still be a decent length, but it won't be ridiculous. Like, it will still be about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, maybe an hour at the most. And the final race is not Nürburgring. Like, fuck for that. I can't remember what track it was, but I think the Nürburgring endurance race is uh, the Porsche one. Which is, like, the sixth event. No, seventh event. Because the sixth one is R4. And the seventh one is like Porsche GT3s only. The eighth one is R3. Ninth is R2. Tenth is R1. If only we could go and get the next Falls of Motorsport to go back to the same old system. I think we should have performance indexes up to A. So like F to A. And then S should be supercars. H should be hypercars. And then anything with racing modification should then be classified as like R4 to R1. Something like that. A system like that would be so much better. I want to be. Because currently, Forza Motorsport has like a weird performance system. They got rid of the good one, which was the Motorsport 3 and Motorsport 4 one, where it was just all the letters and then R3, R2, R1. They got rid of that system and then swapped it with. Um, obviously, Forza Horizon had S2, S1, S2. X. It still doesn't make sense why they have the performance index like that. I understand them not having R because R is like racing car. And pretty much none of the cars in Forza Horizon are racing cars. They're all street cars. So that makes sense. Maybe S3, S2, S1. You know, something like that. A system like that would make more sense in Horizon. But then in Motorsport for, I think it was Motorsport 5, 6, and 7, they went to F to A, then 
S, then P. No. Yeah, S2, S1, P, and X, or something like that. Like, they added random letters here and there to the performance index charts. It was weird. It was an odd system for them to do. Very strange. We are three followers away from uh, hitting 900, by the way. So uh, feel free to let your friends know. Share the stream out. Greatly appreciate it. Every little bit of support is greatly appreciated here. Yeah, so we'll be looking at about 50 minutes again. There we go. Not bad. Final three laps. Not bad. Keep it going, keep it going. Uh. Is that a final car? That's first place. Two, two, final two. Well, it depends. If that's a Camaro, then no, it's not first place, because then first place has already gone past them, I believe. 128, 138. We're 10 seconds behind them. Obviously, 10 seconds behind this end. So it's in that group in front of this next car. Come on, can I lap every car on the grid? We can do this. Come on. Our goal is to try and lap car in front. Lap first place. They're coming up to that chicane, uh, that hairpin corner now.
Come on, come on, we got this. Might not make it. Oh, we might make it. Oh, my God. Go for it. Dive bomb. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think I got damage for that. But you know what? I don't care. I've lapped every single car. <laughs> Woo! Hey, nice one, Jacob. 50 minutes. Every single car has been lapped on this. Oh, I took 14 grand of damage penalty just to do that, but I don't care. <laughs> We're now level 32. We've got some 350Z race cars, and we should get up to level 4, I believe. No, level 5. Not bad. Ev Chuffed with that. we got a Acura number 42 NSX racing car, and also 60 grand of bonus. And that is the NSX there. That's a beautiful car, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. I can't believe we did that. Lapped every single car in a race. That should be trophy worthy. Come on. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.